The goal of my show is to promote local small businesses and leaders who are making a remarkable difference during COVID-19. You can watch Lead the Way on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. All links are down below. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and lead the way. Let's get started. There's a saying, a great coach is hard to find, difficult to part with, and impossible to forget. Today I'm here at Nova Gymnastics and interviewing my mentor and coach, Mario, who has, who has also had a great career, both as a gymnast and as a coach. Mario, I started training in gymnastics at the age of four. I represented Nova Gymnastics in 2018 and 2019 in the Florida State Championships and qualified for the Southeast Regional Finals. Mario, at what age did you start to do gymnastics? Well, almost like you, Mikhail, I started at five years old, so we're pretty similar yeah. in that regard, yeah. Tell us about some of your biggest accomplishments. Absolutely. Well, uh, since I was a little kid, you know, I always loved this sport, you know, just like you did um, back in the day, and now you transfer your passion into tennis. To me, I think uh, one of my greatest accomplishments um, was going to the World Championships, representing Mexico. Uh, I was able to place top 20 in, in vault. So that was, that was a very, very fun experience, you know, and the fact that you're able to meet people from all over the world with the same passion, it's, it's very, very rewarding. Thank you. What made you retire and become a coach? Well, I didn't plan to retire, unfortunately. Um, in 2014, I was competing in national championships in Mexico, and I did vault, which is that one right there, and I tore my ACL. I landed wrong, and um, so I got surgery. I tried to get back in, but my knee wasn't able to hold on. Um, but I love this sport too much, so I was able to go on the other side of the fence and starting teaching people how to do what I learned for so many years. Nova Gymnastics is more than just gymnastics. Tell us everything that Nova has to offer. Absolutely. I'll be more than glad to. Well, first of all, um, we're trying to be a second home for every kid that steps in. And we have all the way from recreational gymnastics, we have uh, circus and uh, acrobatics, and we also have competitive teams, right? And the idea is whatever level you're in, we want to um, put values in each one of our athletes, right? Respect, hard work, honesty. So that's the, the foundation of the building. Uh, we also count with our after school care program, so which is growing every year. And we offer gymnastics, we offer um, computer lessons. So basically an alternative for people um, to place their kids in a safe and a good place to be each afternoon. Due to COVID-19, so many businesses have shut down. Some businesses such as Nova found creative ways to stay engaged and made their students still keep training. Tell us about your guys' online classes and how people can join them. Absolutely. Well, thanks for the promo, first of all. Um, yeah, so basically when all this happened, you know, our first thought was to keeping the community engaged. I think that's one of the, you know, one of the, the main reasons why we did this. And just like you said, uh, every afternoon at 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, uh, we offer um, live stream Zoom class which um, the website is novagymnastics.fitness so you can go there and you can just purchase it through the website and it's been really fun you know I think we've had um, an average of 10 15 people per week and it's really cool because you know you can see what everybody everybody's doing so that's a, a piece of technology that's being very very useful for us and honestly everyone's just staying together and you know through this difficult time so we're looking ahead uh, in a positive way. What are you guys' plans to reopen Nova Gymnastics and do you think there's going to be a summer camp? You know, that's a great question. Uh, we definitely want the, for there to be a summer camp. And the way we're going to open is going to be, you know, uh, it's going to depend on whatever the authorities say. You know, the governor, uh, CDC, uh, WHO. So 
we're just waiting on indications but we definitely wanted to uh, do it in the safest way possible and we wanted to be uh, definitely little by little so we can get to a, a stability point one, uh, one more time but uh, as for right now we don't know exactly when but that we know that's how we want to do it. Do you think there's going to be a competition season this year? You know, that's a million dollar question, uh, and of, of course, I, I really hope there is one. And I think uh, it's going to be very challenging, but also a lot of opportunities are going to derive from this. And I think this is, uh, as athletes, you are an athlete as well, this is a great opportunity for us to look outside the box and, and look what we can do as a community, you know, to bring ourselves together. And if it's not a regular competition season, I think um, as a gymnastics organization and we should definitely uh, get ourselves together to, to do something you know so I would definitely look forward for a competition season if it's maybe not as usual but something uh, to be going on I look forward to that many people think that gymnastics is just a girl sport <laughs> <laughs> like um, when I was just doing gymnastics one of my mom's friends didn't put their boy in gymnastics because they thought it was a girl sport. <laughs> Pe right. People know names like Simone Biles and Gabby Douglas. And tell us why gymnastics is for everybody. Like people don't know names like Sam McCulloch. Sam McCulloch, right? Absolutely. I, I actually uh, met him in person a few years ago. Great athlete, great person. And I think, you know, um, gymnastics, I think is the best base to learn any sport, right? Because from a young age, you start developing everything, right? Uh, orientations, balance, uh, equilibrium, uh, strength, flexibility, and you start challenging your fears, right? Because you happen to flip over your head multiple times. So I think uh, it's not only not a girl sport, right? I think um, if I were, you know, um, the president, I would definitely include gymnastics in uh, public schools and stuff like that because it just offers such a great foundation for any sport you want to try and of course if you want to pursue that into competitive just like, uh, like you did earlier in your career it's an amazing sport and I think um, it also gives a, a bunch of discipline and mental toughness that not many uh, sports or activities give you right so I think it's, it's just uh, a holistic approach, it's not just the gymnastics part or the sports part, but I think uh, as a person, as a human being, helps you to achieve really great things, not only in the sport. Mario, we took so many trips together to Orlando, Tampa, Chattanooga, Tennessee, and Savannah, Georgia. Right. Can you share some memories that you had from those trips? Absolutely. Oh, th those were really fun, honestly. Those are the, the competition seasons that I enjoy the most. And you know, back then your, your mom was a team coach, so it was really fun. Honestly, the, the, um, the moments I cherish the most, the most are the, when we would get all of, the, all of us from the team together for dinner. And we would just, you know, share a laugh, share a burger or something. And we'd just spend hours there, you know, laughing about and, you know, talking about gymnastics and talking about life and talking about how you know people from different countries backgrounds etc you know come together for one reason which are you guys you know the athletes and uh it, that's just a beautiful thing so i will never never forget that definitely do you remember when we both did a backflip in front of the aquarium absolutely absolutely i remember very very well i remember my <laughs> the next day my knees were hurting so i was like okay i'm getting rusty but i've been training so i'll be able to flip with you today okay? <laughs> Do you also remember when I had a fracture in my wrist and I still competed in the regional? You know what? I, I remember that, you know, because to me as a coach, I was I was extremely impressed because talking to your mom, you know, I told her if he doesn't compete, you know, it's completely fine. You know, I I, I would never want to put your health in jeopardy. But you know, you, you proved everyone wrong and you said, you know what? Uh, Regardless of my injury, I'm gonna do whatever I can. And I saw you laser focused, you know, for I think it was two or three weeks from the moment of your injury um, to competition, and, and you excelled, you know. So I think that speaks a lot about uh, your character 
not as a gymnast, but as a person, as an athlete. And I think that toughness and that resilience, you're gonna uh, apply it wherever you're doing, you know? And I know you're doing it right now. So I, I remember very, very um, clearly that, that, that episode. And I, I learned a lot, honestly, from that. In gymnastics, the tr trust between the coach and the student is very important. When I'm doing like risky moves on the rings or the high bar, you always have to be there if right. I fall. Right. You know, you mentioned something that I think it's the backbone of uh, gymnastics coaching. Uh, you need to build trust between your athlete and yourself, right? It doesn't matter how much you know. It doesn't matter if you, you know, know the code of points upside down. If you don't build that trust and trust comes with our relationship, you know, it'll be really, really hard. So I think uh, a successful coach, that's what he does. It builds a relationship and it builds trust with their athletes and that way that you can push them safely uh, but to their limits and keep pushing those boundaries and how can the kid and the coach build trust you know what that's an excellent question and my answer might not be uh, the standard answer you're looking for but uh, the, the way I um, joke around with the kids is that you gotta jump off the plane right so when you're um, you know jumping out of a parachute and it's your first time doing it you don't you don't know what's gonna happen you know but you've you've trained for that right and either you're jumping with someone that you know it's qualified for it at the end of the day you gotta jump so that's uh, always an analogy that I bring especially with the younger athletes that you know are a little bit scared of trying new things so it's, it's just you know uh, looking them in the eye and, and they need to to feel your confidence and they need to feel that you know what you're doing right so that's the first thing you need to know what you're doing but once that happens it's just you know talking to them and basically like a, um, a bird mom throwing their kid up the nest you know they gotta fly so it's kind of the same thing you know always you know you gotta be safe and you gotta understand you know biomechanics and all that stuff but at the end of the day I think it's just that uh, knowing how to talk to the athlete Ready? Yeah. Go. Nova Gymnastics, like many small businesses, have been affected during this crisis. We must support small businesses and spread their word about their online classes. Even if you don't do gymnastics, you can still join Nova Gymnastics online classes for strength, flexibility, and conditioning. Mario, thank you for your time. I might be a bit rusty, but do you think we can try some gymnastics? Absolutely, moves? let's do it. Absolutely. Wow, that's
Yeah, I mean, the first two times, you know, but after that, you're fine. Just like the heart. <laughs>